Hi guys, OneNote and Evernote are two services to take notes, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between OneNote and Evernote and will consider 8 criteria to see how these two tools stack up. So let's get started. These two note-taking titans have established their reputation worldwide. They are popular among college students and workers as a right hand to improve productivity in their studying and working life. As note-taking tools, they vied in developing some useful and excellent features to improve the note-taking performance. Overall, Evernote and OneNote are far more similar than they are different. Both apps include several note formats, text, images, audio, drawings, files, and more. Both apps have a file storage hierarchy, allowing you to store documents in folders. Both apps allow you to add tags to notes and use those tags to locate them. Both apps enable collaboration with other teammates. Both apps allow you to seamlessly sync your data across multiple devices. Both apps allow you to clip content from the web. And both apps integrate well with other apps. Both apps require a bit upgrade to add more storage. So let's compare them. For the user interface, while the user interface is subjective, it's an important thing to consider. Evernote uses a three-column design that makes it easy and fast to switch between different notes and notebooks when necessary. You can also shrink the window to become a two-column interface if you want. The tool has various other flexibilities, including the opportunity to split horizontally and disable the notes panel altogether. OneNote similarly has a simple interface. When you open the app, you will have a small toolbar on the left followed by a section where you will see your notes pages. On the right hand side, you can add text to your notes. If you are familiar with Microsoft Word, you will recognize the bar as the top of the page. Here you can change the fonts, select bold and italic options, and more. In OneNote, you work within a single notebook at a time. Each notebook has tabs as the top to distinguish between sections, and each section has tabs in the sidebar to distinguish between pages. So, if you want to switch notebooks, just use the drop-down selector as the top left. And for the Web Clipper, both applications have something called the Web Clipper that can clip entire web pages from the internet. You can use OneNote's Web Clipper on Edge and Google Chrome. Evernote's Web Clipper is available on Chrome, Safari, Firefox and Edge, plus other browsers. You can use the tool on Windows and Apple computers. The main difference is that Evernote's Clipper offers more precision and flexibility. Evernote can clip simplified articles and custom-sized screenshots, and you can annotate the results. With OneNote, you can save your clippings to one of your notebooks in the app. Now for the note-taking, with Evernote, you can save pretty much anything to your notes, Slack messages, emails, and any image with text, while the Web Clipper lets you save websites. There is a reason it's still one of the most popular note-taking apps around, and it's because of its advanced features, such as the ability to annotate PDFs and make text images searchable from any source or website. And with OneNote, you can capture data through typed notes, audio notes, web clippings, and more. It even has an ink-to-text feature. You can organize your notes into notebooks and run translation on them. OneNote also has text search and gives you the option of password protecting sections of your text. Now for the security and privacy, OneNote allows you to add passwords to your personal notes, hence making them very secure. Apart from that, Microsoft servers are some of the best and the most secure servers in the whole world, so the app is relatively safe to use in itself. Evernote claims to be a very secure app following all internet security protocols using firewalls, VPNs, two-factor authentication, end-to-end -end encryption, and SSL, but users have reported many security breaches with the app. Now for the collaboration, Evernote has features that allow you to collaborate with pretty much anyone while giving you control over viewing and editing rights. The premium and business versions of Evernote have brainstorming, task management, and workflow management features for handling tasks and deadlines. OneNote allows real-time collaboration, which means more than one person can edit at the same time. The edits immediately sync across all accounts and devices. 
With OneNote's many integrations, you can share files with anyone by Bluetooth, email, Facebook, YouTube, and even Evernote. Now for the integrations, both Evernote and OneNote can integrate with Zapier, through which you can connect Evernote and OneNote to thousands of other apps and automate many tasks and processes inside your favorite note-taking software. But the difference lies is that Evernote can integrate with Gmail, Google Drive, Outlook, Slack, Microsoft Teams, and Salesforce without the help of Zapier, while OneNote can synergize well with Microsoft Word and Outlook. Now for importing and exporting, Evernote has a handful of useful export options, including the option to combine all of your notes into a single HTML file, or exports each node as its own HTML file. But most useful is the NX format, which makes it easy to transfer nodes to another computer with Evernote. OneNote is also flexible. You can choose whether you want to export the current page, the current section, or the entire current notebook. For each option, exports can be made in PDF, XPS, MHT, or OneNote-specific formats. As far as imports are concerned, both Evernote and OneNote fall short. OneNote doesn't even have an import function, while Evernote can only import NX files and OneNote notebooks. Now for the pricing, Evernote has four plans including free, personal, professional, and teams. These prices are for the monthly subscription. Of course, the free plan costs $0.00 comes with 60 MB of monthly storage and the ability to sync two devices, which can potentially make it not suitable for most businesses. The personal plan subscription costs $9 per month, which ups the monthly upload limit to 10 GB and takes your maximum node size from 25 MB to 200 MB. You can also sync across unlimited devices and start getting more creative with features like the ability to create custom templates and text formatting and markup images and PDFs. For $11 per month, professional plan subscribers can access to task management tools as well as 20 GB of storage. You can also export notebooks into PDFs. Teams costs $15 per month with an annual subscription. You can collaborate in shared spaces with this plan. The prices may change with time. For details, you can look for the Evernote official website. OneNote is free to download, although you can unlock premium features with a Microsoft Office 2019 or Microsoft 365 subscription. Microsoft 365 account starts at $7 per month. So choosing between OneNote and Evernote depends on your business and your needs. Regardless of your choice, OneNote and Evernote are superb apps for taking notes and organizing your projects. Both services will sync across multiple devices, and you can customize your notes in all kinds of ways. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out, and bye bye.